Good day and welcome back to Awakened Faith Channel. Father Altman shared a story from one beloved brother. Now let's listen to the vision that God showed to him. This is about what I saw during the tribulation, specifically the Masonic Temple, where people will go to worship the Antichrist. Every Friday this place will be filled with people worshiping him. Let me show you around the building. This is the main temple I saw when I was in the tribulation with Jesus. It's a very old building, hundreds of years old. In the future, they'll have huge screens on the sides of the building for people to worship the Antichrist on Fridays. If you don't believe in the rapture and end up here, you can either worship the Antichrist or face execution, as harsh as that sounds. I'll keep driving around to show you the entire grounds. There will be massive screens showing people where to go. The building is enormous, and people will line up all around it to worship. They come from all over the area to this little town for this purpose. You can see their Scottish rite symbols and meeting signs here. The area is huge, and this place will be central to the worship during the tribulation. I'm going to show you where the courthouse is. I told everyone that they will take down the American flag and replace it with another flag. This new flag will have black, white, green, sickle swords, palm leaves, and five stars. Soon you will see the American flag replaced here at this courthouse with this new flag. This courthouse is an old historic building, one of the oldest in town, several hundred years old. Not far from here, maybe 50, 100 yards away, is where they will burn Bibles one day. In this field, there will be a massive fire to burn all the Bibles. I saw this when I was with Jesus. The smoke from burning Bibles will go up for miles. That courthouse is where they'll bring all the Bibles in the future, and they will mandate it with this new flag. You'll see this happen eventually. Here is another building from the Masons. During the tribulation, this building will be used by the Antichrist and his followers. Remember, I told you this would happen. This is not sarcasm. It's time to be serious. We're running out of time. A great revival is coming, and we will see a major outpouring of God's Spirit with a billion souls being saved. I've been praying and interceding for what's coming, and I want to show you downtown where people will gather. This old historic town will be a major hub, likely because of the Mason's Temple. Some believe they are part of a secret society, like the Illuminati. Downtown has many old brick buildings. There are also supposed to be tunnels running from the old morgue to other parts of town, used during the Prohibition era to hide whiskey and other items. This old building here was once a saloon with a brothel in the basement. These buildings are very old, including the old post office. This town has a creepy feel. Look at these old buildings. They're old and have a creepy western look. You can see the old banks and other buildings along Main Street. I can't go further because they're working on the sidewalks, but this town has a creepy feel. This place is a hotspot for the end times. In my first tribulation video, I forgot some things, but the Holy Spirit and my son reminded me. The Lord showed me a Starbucks that would be here. During my visitation from the Lord in 2014, there was no Starbucks, only an old barbecue house and a Taco Bueno. They bulldozed Taco Bueno and built the Starbucks a few years ago. I told everyone before it was built that there would be a Starbucks here when the Antichrist comes. Jesus showed me this during the tribulation, with people rioting, storms, thunder, and lightning. This old church here is one of many old churches in town, like the old Baptist, Presbyterian, and Catholic churches. During the tribulation, I saw these old churches when I was with Jesus. There are supposedly tunnels from this boy's home to the temple. I don't know why, but people talked about these tunnels. My brother, who was part of the sheriff's department, mentioned them too. These old historic houses were all part of this town's history. Can you see them? 
All these old historic houses are beautiful. This old boy's home was owned by the Freemasons and dates back to 1923. It's quite a place, a bit creepy though. There are lots of critters in there, and you'd need to anoint the place with oil to cast the devils out. Maybe use a whole bottle or two. Now, let me show you the Starbucks. This used to be a barbecue house, as I mentioned before. This used to be a Taco Bueno, but it was torn down and replaced with a Starbucks. I wanted to show you how things can change in surprising ways. When I was with Jesus during my vision of the tribulation, I saw this area, including the Starbucks, lit up with lightning in the sky. Even though it might seem like some things won't happen, just wait and see. They will. Sometimes what you see in the spirit realm doesn't exist yet, but it will come to pass. It took years for what I saw to begin happening. We're already seeing things like alien visitations and unusual events, like the ones in Miami and New York. Jesus warned that these would be signs of his return. There will be a great deception to explain away the disappearance of millions of people during the rapture. People will be told that aliens took them, and this will be used to introduce the mark of the beast and a one-world system. With so many people disappearing suddenly, it will disrupt the financial system and drive people crazy. Children under 15 will also disappear during the rapture, even if they were not born again. Families will be searching for them, and the world will be in chaos. I hope this video has made you think about getting right with Jesus. Time is running out, and you need to repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior before it's too late. Lord Jesus, I come before you with a humble heart, grateful for your boundless love and mercy. Thank you for the sacrifice you made on the cross, shedding your precious blood to cleanse me from sin and grant me eternal life. I ask for your guidance in every step I take, that your wisdom may light my path and your strength support me through trials. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, that I may walk in your ways, showing love and compassion to those around me. Help me to forgive as you have forgiven me and to seek your will in all things. Strengthen my faith and renew my spirit daily, that I may be a vessel for your grace and truth. Lord, I pray for those who are lost, that they may come to know your love and salvation. Please watch over my loved ones and keep them safe in your embrace. I surrender all my worries and fears to you, trusting in your perfect plan. Thank you for your unending faithfulness and for being my refuge and strength. I pray this in your holy name, Jesus Christ. Amen.